Hey, so, as you we're gonna be watching more My Hero Academia. We're now season 6, episode 13. And uh, I'm recording this late, so uh, I got sick a bunch of times, and uh, this is my third video I'm recording today. Whoop de doo, I don't know if I will sleep. Anyways, <laughs> excuse me. Anyways, yeah, last time, Dobby reveal. He revealed that uh, every da -da 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 endeavor. He revealed Endeavor's secret, and about he was a bad father and a person in general and how he's trying to change now but he's still like that and also the fact that uh freaking hawks killed gene and hawks killed best genus even though best genus shows up right there and it's great i think that's what happened last time no 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 no, no. that's episode 11 i think episode 12 actually mirio shows up yeah mirio shows up and uh we're actually fighting dobby now so I forgot because uh, usually it's like only one week now it's like a lot more. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's what happened. I mean, Deku is all sorts of messed up. I think the battle is almost over. Machia has fallen. That's always a good thing because Machia is kind of unstoppable and suddenly he's fallen. So yeah, we're gonna watch this. There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture in picture version which you can find in the description below. And a timer-based version, which we're watching right now. If you want to sync up your Omija to the timer-based version, you can do that with a 5 second countdown. It's gonna count down for 5 because that's what they do. And 0 is the same frame my video starts playing on my screen. Timer. I'm just gonna write down MHA 6-13. Okay. Timer. Yeah. actually started recapping the wrong episode. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna keep that in, I don't care. Good job, Momo and everyone else. Mm. Everyone's help. Raise our head with, with a... With a leg gone, Mir Mirko with a arm gone. Yup. I hope Minette is okay. And uh, Mount Lady as well. Yeah, each thread of hope. What deck? <laughs> He's. <laughs> nice. Opening. I think next episode we're gonna have a new opening. It's usually like that, right? Episode 14, right? If you're watching Instead of PIP, check out the YouTube channel. That's where the discussions are. I don't talk about this that much. It's mostly fun shonen. But uh, sometimes I go off topic and <laughs> go on tangents. Um, if you wanna hear me do that, YouTube version. Uh, also, thank you to Patreon's names in the beginning and end. Mm. It's such a good song, by the way. Dun, 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 dun. This is such, such a good song. Nothing crazy, but I love it. It's, uh, I think I didn't like a lot of uh, My Hero Academia's recent openings, <laughs> like uh, in Season 5 and Season 4. Not a big fan of Season 5 and Season 4's uh, <laughs> openings. <laughs> Songs, specifically. The, the visuals are still nice. My voice is uh, running out. I'm running out of voice. I believe uh, Compress is trying to do something. Hmm.
Yep, we're still here. Dog is crying. Our dream. Final performance. Oh, I guess we're ending an arc. <laughs> okay. Wait, is this compressed backstory? What? Create your rejection plan. CRC. Whoa! Oh! It's a gecko, actually. <laughs> Not a lizard. Wow, that's messed up. Just... I mean, it makes perfect sense that there's gonna be a group of people like that. Of course. How long is this ago? Twice as alive and well. <laughs> oh. Aww. <laughs> Freaking love twice. I miss you twice. <laughs> They're still talking about sushi. So it's between those times. Okay. <laughs> Twice. No oh God. So I just burned them. Ah, uh, agreed. Toga is probably the mo the worst out of there. In terms of cat judging character. Ooh. Mm. Friggin' love Stain. Such a good villain. Unlike this guy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's all chopped up, bada bada. Oh, you're being choked. <laughs> it's gonna turn him unconscious. Is Compress gonna sacrifice himself or something? Oh, final performance because he's a magician. Oh, wow! Whoa!
Oh my god! <laughs> Fibers! Yep. He doesn't need to touch it. <laughs> I just realized he doesn't need to- oh god. Ugh! Shoulder! He's gonna die! Atsuhiro. That's your name, okay? Uh huh. Oh, okay. Your father? Yeah, it's like a Robin Hood, right? Oh boy, oh beam struggle! I like a good beam struggle. <laughs> Not much of a beam struggle, show the loss. Hello, may you try ice? <laughs> huh? <gasps> great, great grandson, okay. He's gonna show his face. Oh my god, he's hot! <laughs> it's actually attractive. <laughs> oh, 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 spinner! Okay. Mr. Compress. Please continue there. I don't want to jump to somewhere else right now. We're jumping to somewhere else right now, aren't we? <laughs> okay. Oh! You can still move! <laughs> I mean, it's just this part, so it's okay. We can heal Deku with uh, Airy now, can't we? What is the fourth quirk? Danger sense. Oh, spidey sense! <laughs> not, not really, but yeah. That is such a good quirk to have if you have other quirks. Oh, we're not gonna let him do that. That's actually smart.
Ага. Long hair. Ah. Oh. What is that? Is that a hand? Is that a hand? Yeah, I still have a hand. Oh boy! <laughs> So wait, and angry apparently. Oh no, at least Mark is down. Right? Danger sense. All for one. Origin. Same thing that uh, Nana Shumar says. Yeah, same thing that Nana Shumar says. Sort of. Gambaro. He's awake again! Yay! Fuck! <laughs> ah, interesting. Okay. Maybe... The villains will run away? I don't know. Oh! Oh my god, his eyes! Yep. Huh. Yep. Yeah, we didn't finish his, uh, his upgrade. And we focus on this, the, the fact that it looks like a thumb. <laughs> uh, like, uh... All for one's forehead. Not yet done, AJ! The Super Turbo. Yes, they are. It's passing through everything. Whoa! Okay. Ah, uh, how are you able to do that? That's so cool.
Everyone's down for the count, all the heroes are at least. I don't think you can or should, Deku. Um, what is that? That's blue. Double D, double die. Um. Huh. What are you doing? Oh, you're using it from your mouth. <laughs> yep, it definitely is tenacious. Probably when, uh, Probably Deku would have mastered all of his quirks by then, huh? Get it all. Song, is it song? Wow. 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 I I, I saw about this a few times. Like, Shigaraki can be redeemable if we play our. The writers played their cards, right? Insert song as well. Is it the same uh, singer as the, the one in season 4? The American Idol winner? I forgot the name. Sounds like it. Everyone's injured. How many people died? How many named characters died? Good arc. Really good arc. In a while. Really best arc in a while. <laughs> We're done. Uh, I don't know. I... I don't know. This is really good. <laughs> uh, but uh... It's, it's kind of a funny thing to say on the internet because uh, a lot of the times when you say this is really good to My Hero Academia someone out there on the internet, if you put it out on the internet it's gonna be like, actually it's very much mid the manga did it a lot better <laughs> uh, I don't know, I haven't read the manga so I can't really say for sure But if I were to look at this like, as to what it is, like, without comparing adaptations, it's good. It's good. And also, another thing that people talk about it is the idea of, it's just the concepts that it's trying to pull. Like, My Hero Academia sucks, you should watch, like, only real anime that Neo, like, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Which is, let's talk about this episode, Jikai. Let's talk about this episode. Because, oh, that is dark. Why is it black and white? I'm, I'm scared. Why is it black and white? But you know, New Genesis Evangelion does its own thing and it does it really well. My Hero Academia does its own thing and 
it does it's low concept like heroes superheroes super villains it's nothing new like neon genesis evangelion did so many new things but it's not enough about that <laughs> But it's not trying to be anything else, and that's kind of what I like about My Hero Academia. So if this goes into a completely different direction from here, like, I heard that Deku becomes a completely different character later on. I don't know how or why, but, or, yeah. But, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like that, because I like Deku as he is right now. I like Deku being the kind of generic character that is, that has just, is done decently well enough. And so, sometimes, most of the time, decently well, sometimes amazingly well. <laughs> Just sometimes. Uh, the CRC is interesting. Because I was wondering about this. Like, uh, because I've always thought that the idea of people uh, thinking of quirks as uh, immoral or unnatural is very real-worldly. <laughs> that's, that's not a real world. Real term but uh it's very much accurate to what will happen if we have superpowers in the real world we're gonna have a lot of people reject it and i was kind of surprised that the animal ones aren't immediately rejected apparently there is and it's a religious organization or a cult or of sorts actually that is that don't like the uh animal shaped humans which is interesting because I was thinking of how would we consider them to be humans, right? Like, there's gotta be the obvious signs, right? Like, learning to read and all that. But wouldn't that be a completely different species? But given rights similar to humans? So, I don't know. Uh, the idea that one of them goes, uh, you're, you, you, you poor thing or something like that to Spinner is so... Uh, What's the word for it? It's like, it's like holier than thou. Like, oh, you poor thing, you're sinful. It's like that, but he's actually just living in his life like that. Which makes sense, like, Spinner's pretty old, and he probably experienced a lot more of the backlash towards quirks compared to other characters, like, compared to our characters, like the students. So, him being born a gecko, He's probably just kind of, just, just kind of sealed him, sealed himself alive of being a neat. So the, talked about it, and that's pretty much what it looks like with his flashbacks that he's just looking at a computer and all that, and his room is a mess. So I, I immediately went to neat, and <clears throat> his idea of finding inspiration is in stain is really interesting, because a lot of the time, if someone. If a person, if people are put into such situations where they were put, they were considered outcasts, the more likely it is, the more likely they are to commit crimes, especially if they think the, what they're doing is right. Um, and what Stain was doing was, it was lawfully chaotic. It was lawfully evil. <laughs> it was lawfully evil, and. <clears throat> Him finding that sense of, oh, maybe I can be someone else as well, is a very real fear to have when you take, take away normalcy from lives of people just because they are different. Like, uh, you know, there's quite a lot of people, there are minorities everywhere that feel that way. So yeah, uh, yeah. So I like the idea that there is a CRC. Spinner being the one to just have the balls, all of the balls, to uh, lift up Shigaragi and be like, you piece of shit, what are we doing? I mean, Toga did something similar in season 4 where uh, she pointed a knife at Shigaragi, but we know Toga has superhuman strength, like, probably not superhuman in the, in My Hero Academia world, but in terms of Shigaraki back then, Shigaraki wasn't the most physically fit back then. So, Toga has a fair chance of fighting Shigaraki head on. Uh, with how acrobatic and, uh, yeah, she is. How oh, athletic, not acrobatic. But also acrobatic, she is very acrobatic. I don't know what this shot is for, just to look cool, I guess. Okay, um... What else do I want to talk about? Their faces when they were being choked out kind of kills me, to be honest. <laughs> like, look at this shit. 
<laughs> it's hilarious. Um, that's badass. Like uh, Mr. Compress removing a part of his uh, lower half just to escape the wires. And then removing even a big, uh, another part of himself around the shoulder just to escape everything is badass. Like that is metal as hell. Like this is, this is the season where everything is just metal. <laughs> like uh, the razor head cutting off his limb to make sure that he still has his powers because he knows that he will be very useful in future battles if he still has it. Also the fact that uh, he, he can get a mechanical leg, right? Right? Because uh, freaking compress as a mechanical arm. Um, yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, flashbacks, I the flashbacks here, I like the little hints as to telling us when this is taking place. So Dobby was recruiting members. So that, that's always a thing that happens. Like at the end of season three, Dobby was recruiting members. Um, what else? Uh, the the the. the uh, what? Brain. Work. Uh, Final Normal Liberation Front hasn't been established yet. They're looking for sushi. They want sushi. Uh, that's really neat. Why is it, doesn't he have a face here? He has some here. I don't know. Mr. Compress's um, skill with his quirk is really cool. Like... He used it, I think, to, to its full potential, to be honest. <laughs> I think he's used it to its full potential. I can't think of any other way to use his power that would be kind of insane. Like, like he's already done the whole, I'm just gonna trap you in a marble thing. He's done the whole, I'm just gonna remove bits and pieces of everything. It, it's very smart the way they did this. Uh, I think that's another thing in the season, is that the way the characters, the way the characters use their quirks are very smart. And uh, you don't see that very often in superhero stuff. So he came from a line of bandits. Uh, I want to look at this. Yeah, so it's like a Robin Hood. That's really interesting. I like that. And then he's, it's kind of become vague as to what they're doing. But uh, <laughs> Atsuhiro is still doing his thing. He wants the reform and everything. Mm. It kind of went from there's bad heroes out there, and we need to get rid. We need to steal from them. To there's only bad heroes out there. <laughs> we need to change everything. I think it just went crazy after a few generations. So yeah, <laughs> the fight between uh, Dabi and Shoto. It's really fun. First of all, I mean, it's kind of obvious that uh, in terms of firepower, Dobby has the advantage. In terms of versatility, freaking Shoto should have the advantage though. So if this were... Uh, no, not really. I mean, how hot are Dobby's flames? Because you can melt ice, yes, yes Dobby, ice melts, I know, season 5 Dobby, haha, <laughs> funny. But also, when it's like a huge ass glacier, it doesn't melt that easily. It's gonna take a long, long while for it to melt. And your flames are blue. So I don't know how hot those are though. I love me a good bean struggle. <laughs> like I talked about how I don't like the Dragon Ball stuff where it just kind of flashes, flashes, flashes. Sometimes it looks cool if it's actually animated properly, but uh, last time it wasn't animated properly. Oh, sim sim say, same thing with uh, beam struggles, except I usually end up liking beam struggles easier. I'm usually a slightly softer critic. <laughs> on, uh, softer? That was the opposite of harsh critic when it comes to beam struggles, because I just like them. They're, they're just cool, come on. It's not even necessarily a beam, it's a wall of flame. Oh uh, yeah. Freaking love it. Uh, he looks badass here. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to uh, take this as a as a thumbnail. It's 1029? 39. Thumbnail. Okay. He looks kinda attractive actually. 
And Mirio just kind of punches him. <laughs> this thing, right here, is awful. <laughs> so many heroes are dying left and right. <laughs> At least he killed one of the Nomus, I guess. I mean, it's really hard to beat, so that's really help. That's really good. Okay, Ford user's quirk is danger sense. Interesting. Because the Ford user is the one that uh, apparently doesn't have that much information, but apparently Baogo was like, I looked up the Ford user. He has some information on him. What did you find out? Um, you have information on him, but you're not you're not telling Deco about it. What is it? So I'm assuming that the Ford user is the one that goes berserk. Because we know it's coming. Like, it's a shonen. There's a there's a main character that has some kind of may or may not be cursed power at some point the main character is gonna go berserk <laughs> i don't know when but it's gonna happen i don't know how cool it's gonna look or how bad it's gonna look but apparently it looks really cool because uh uh not that itself but apparently at some point deku gets real, some really good cool, they're really cool power-ups so yeah so the fourth user probably is that the fourth user also looks really really interesting because he is green Similar to Deku. Seem very similar to and also the thing on his on his face. I don't know what that is. Like lightning bolt, maybe? So danger sense. So a lesser spider sense, spidey sense. Interesting. Um I like that Mirio doesn't let freaking Atsuhiko finish his uh small log. Just keeps going, just punches him. Which is cool, because um When you think about the show, there's not that many prologue monologues. A lot of the history or flashbacks that we get from the villains specifically, or the main or the heroes actually, they're in the form of a omniscient perspective, like fourth world breaking. Not really fourth, but you know what I mean. Uh, it's not really part of what is happening, and it's just part of the story being told. So yeah, it's four world breaky. So yeah. So it makes sense. We actually haven't been doing that. Good job. I never knew that. Man, here academia. And the times when uh Endeavor and uh Shigaraka were fighting, Shigaraka is monologuing and Endeavor's literally just there listening to it because he needs to cool down. He's he's actually using it to his advantage. The fact that the way he woke up was with the hand is really cool. Oh god, the little veins. It's, it just hurts to look at. Uh, Spinner realizing that uh, the big boss, the boss of the boss, isn't as nice as the boss himself. I freaking love Deku just using his mouth. His mouth with a uh, freaking, what's that called? Black Whip to move around and he's still caught up until he was thrown back because he really, really doesn't have that much control over it and he's not as strong because you know all four of his limbs are broken that's an issue anyways i guess that's it for me uh, that was fun okay uh you can't see the next episode yet the reaction yet because you know i'm watching it as it airs that's it for me bye -a.